many times do you take time to celebrate your wins, big or small? How many times do you go to a restaurant or you look at the price of the food but you're not choosing what it is that you really want just because it's too expensive or you say in your mind, I can't afford it right now. If you are like most people, I bet that you don't celebrate your wins and of course, you don't choose what you really want at the restaurant just because you keep telling to yourself that you cannot afford it. This is what we call the scarcity mindset. Hi there, my name is Kasson Cherie and this channel is all about mindset and productivity to help you get more income, more impact, and more importantly, more freedom. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you five steps for you to go from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. So, if you are ready to change your mindset from scarcity to abundance, then keep on watching. The first step for you to go from scarcity mindset to abundance mindset is to stop resisting what you don't want. When you keep thinking about what it is that you don't want in your life, it keeps persisting to come to you. So change the thoughts that you have. If you don't want to be broke, stop thinking about the situation in which you will be if you are broke. Because whatever you resist, persists. The second step for you to switch from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset is to choose what you nourish your life carefully. With that said, you need to choose carefully who you surround yourself with and what do you surround yourself with. Means what type of friends are you around the most? And speaking about friends, make sure you check out this video right here where I shared the five types of people you should be surrounding yourself with. And also you need to be choosing wisely the books that you read, the videos that you watch, the celebrity that you follow, and all of this because these are key for you to have a good surrounding for you to stop the scarcity mindset and build your abundant mindset step for you to stop your scarcity mindset and build your abundant mindset is to stop comparing yourself with others. Comparing yourself with others generates two types of unhealthy feelings. One, you start to be jealous, envy, and the other one you start self doubt. Let me explain the two aspects of your comparison with others. The first one that led to jealousy and envy. Before you saw Sarah with the Audi, you were fine with your Nissan Sentra. But once you see her with her car, you start thinking that now you were supposed to be the one who has this car and now you start building jealousy. The second aspect of your comparison with others is when you start comparing your first month in business with Joanne's 10th years in the game. Yes, she's making 10k a month and you think on your first month you should start having those 10k too. And you start doubting yourself and think you are not worth it, you are not good enough in what you do just because you start comparing yourself with Joanne who has been struggling and trying in the game for at least 10 years. The fourth step for you to change your mindset from scarcity to abundance is always keep a child spirit. As a child, we are full of imagination and curiosity. Hence, we don't have any limiting beliefs. We always see the world as a great thing, a big thing where there is a lot of great things happening. So keeping a child mindset not only allow us to be always ready and eager to learn, but also know that we have no limits if 
we put ourselves into doing whatever that we are doing. And this way, this is one of the steps for us to go from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset. And last but not least, the fifth step for us to go from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset is to start to be gentle with ourselves. Stop being too hard on yourself because abundance is everywhere all around you. However, because you are restricting yourself from giving love to yourself, celebrating yourself, you cannot see all the abundance that is floating all around you. So the moment you start opening yourself to receive love and accept yourself for who you are, a whole world of opportunity and abundance will start opening to you. So guys, these are the five steps for you to go from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset. Before you go, I want you to keep this date in mind. This Friday, February 7th, I will be having a special announcement in my Facebook group. So, if you don't want to wait until next Wednesday to figure out what it is I'm talking about, then join my Facebook group right now. The link is in the description below, the Goal Gather Collective. Also guys, if you like that video, I would really appreciate that you leave me a big thumbs up and comment below what it is that you want to start doing to go from scarcity to abundance mindset. Subscribe every Wednesday. I am here with you to bring you a new video to help you get more income, more impact, and more importantly, more freedom. As always, thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.